Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a list dialog. This is the layout we're going to use and we have a button that is called pick color. And when we click on this button, we're going to show a list dialog with a list of uh, colors. You can pick one of those colors and we will display a toast that says which color was picked. That's the idea. And now let's go ahead to values and in the strings.xml we'll be creating a dialog so we need a title for the dialog which is choose a color That's it. And now we are going to create a string array resource that is called colors. And we have an item which is red. We have another item called blue, green. Cyan, magenta, and yellow. This is the string array that contains the list of colors we are going to use. Let's go back to list dialog. And here we have our list dialog activity in which I have an instance variable declared for the button and I've also obtained a reference to this button and we also have a click listener which will be showing us the dialog when clicked. First let's create a constant which will identify this dialog final int and this constant is going to be called as the color picker dialog we're going to assign one to this constant and now go to the end of the java file right click and from source click on override or implement methods and from the list of methods we're going to choose on create dialog choose this and click OK. So now we have the on create dialog. You're going to override this method. Return super dot on create dialog. And we're going to write a switch statement. For this ID. And the value is going to be color picker dialog. Let's remove the default statement. We don't need it. And here is where we are going to write some code to create the dialog. Now in the on click method we are going to write call a method that is show dialog and the ID is color picker dialog. We are done with the on click listener. And now we need to get the array of colors that we are going to use. First, I am going to declare a variable for that private string array of colors. And on the on create method, let's go ahead and get the array of colors from our string array resource. Get resources assign this to a variable and colors equal to resources dot get string array r dot array dot colors we are getting the the string resource here because we need to construct a dialog that shows the list of colors and we also need to display a toast to the user along with the selected color and that is why we need to get 
the array right here. Now let's go back to the onCreate dialog method and here we are going to use the alert dialog.builder class to help us out. Builder is equal to new alert dialog dot builder in this context and builder dot set title r dot string dot pick color title and builder dot set items the items is our array of colors and we need a non click listener that will help us find out which item was selected. This listener is completely different from our onclick listener that is found inside the view class. This onclick listener is an interface which is found inside a class named dialog interface. So we're going to use it. You have to be careful about this because sometimes you might unknowingly import an inappropriate class dialog.onClickListener we're going to instantiate this new dialog.onClickListener and add unimplemented methods you can see the view.onClickListener accepts view as a parameter whereas the dialog interface.onClickListener accepts two parameters which are the dialog interface and an integer that gives you the index of the item that was selected. And now we're going to write some code which will display a toast of the selected item. Toast dot make text. Context is list dialog activity dot this and the text is colors of which so this the which parameter gets you the index of the item that was selected so we have a, an array of colors we're going to access the index of the item that was selected on the list and the duration is going to be toast dot length short we're going to assign this to a toast instance and we're going to show a toast that's it. So you can see that we have the colors, list of colors that we are going to display in our dialog. And you can also see that we have a button whose reference we have obtained using the find view by ID method. And we also have a click listener for our button. And this click listener will call the show dialog method with the ID of our dialog, which is the color picker dialog. And when this method is called, you will see a dialog on the screen. We have also overridden the onCreate dialog method and we have specified an ID for our dialog, which is color picker dialog. And when the show dialog method is called, we are going to create a dialog which has a title and which has a list of items that belong to the colors string array. And we also have a click listener to handle a click on the list dialog. And when you tap on any one of the list items, you're going to show a toast with the item that was selected. That's about it. Let's go ahead and run this application. Let's run this as an Android application. Click on OK. Switch to the emulator. Here we go. Let's check this out. Click on pick color. Nothing happened. That's because we didn't return this dialog. Instead of the break statement, use return builder dot create. Save this. And let's again let's run this program once again to switch to the emulator. Let's go over. Let's try this once again. Pick dialog. And we have the dialog clicking on one of the list items, just shows a toast. 
pick color yellow it works pick color blue it works pick color red it works that is it and that's how you create a list dialog in android if you have any questions please feel free to ask thank you